Oh my God. How about them grayscale trusts? Holy crap. Um, obviously the, the, the prices on the grayscale funds are being fueled by the prices that we've seen increase in the past couple of days for Litecoin, Bitcoin cash, etc. Uh, but man, tremendous volumes on grayscale this morning. By the time you see this video, these numbers are going to be outdated. I just want to read some of these things off to you. Um, th this is crazy. This, we aren't even in the bull run yet. You just, just imagine what the volumes are going to be on pretty much all the grayscale funds when when we hit the bull run it's going to be absolutely nuts it, it is so it's like you know okay so uh like you know and, and things vary over time right based on you know how what kind of interest people have in the trust but like last friday i took a measurement of the the funds or the volume in terms of dollar amount uh that was traded on each fund the big ones and GSOL came in as a big winner. You know, it's over six million dollars was was traded on GSOL. That took the number one spot. Okay, and then number two spot was LTCN with a, a little over five million dollars traded on it. Number three spot was uh, ETCG. Well, it's it tied actually for LTCN. L ETCG had about five point four million traded on it. Next up was BCHG in number four spot with 1.5 million. That that was for the entire day on Friday. Now, holy shit. I mean, it's like, okay, we are only like an hour and a half into trading on Monday and already BCHG right now is in number one. It's traded so far in an hour and a half, the first hour and a half, $5 million just in the first hour and a half. Okay. LTCN is traded about four and a half million dollars. Then, um, uh, what, what what is the next one? GSOL, two point eight million dollars. So I think we're gonna, you know, GSOL is gonna be over what it did Friday. Friday it did six point three. I think it's gonna beat that today. The Ethereum Classic uh, Trust came in number four with one point eight million dollars traded on it. Now, I didn't calculate the numbers for all the trusts, like, but I noticed that the the trust volumes for FileG, the 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 Filecoin trust, and Mana, the decentralized trust, are also up significantly. So we're starting to see. Uh, more investor interest in the in these trusts and it's gonna man it's only gonna climb like we we are just at the beginning phases like you guys are not even prepared i don't think and i don't think i have either actually for what is going to happen because this is like a super cycle this we are in a super cycle this cycle is going to be better than the last one and there's gonna be there, there are more people that know about the grayscale trust there are more people that know about crypto there's more interest institutional interest and retail interest in bitcoin and crypto cryptocurrency it's gonna be absolutely huge so it's it's just be prepared for anything um yeah so if you're you know if you're worried about getting into for example the the, the mana trust you know because it's like oh it's lower volume it's like i want to worry about that shit it's like uh right now i think i just eyeballed it like the uh the mana trust it had a significant amount of volume uh increase over the over, over recent days and it's pushing at least 25 percent of what bchg was just doing just a couple of weeks ago so i'm not gonna worry about mana mana is gonna probably run later than bchg and there's gonna be a lot of interest in it i think not as much i think as what we've seen obviously in the gsol trust for solana and uh, ltc and a bchg but i think you know some of the smaller trusts are going to be fun there's some i would definitely stay away i've mentioned these before in previous videos these are the basic attention token trust the gbat trust and the live peer trust glib very 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 small i would stay away from those uh, I wouldn't get into those, but I, I'm not worried about, yeah, I'm not worried about HN, ZCSH, uh, file G, any of them. I'm not worried about them because unless you're trying to cash out of millions of dollars at, at a, you know, on a single day, you shouldn't have any problem. I don't think there should be any problem. Like we are a long ways away from the bull run and people are going to see what, you know, here, here's the thing with, with these trusts, like people are, if the first runners are going to be Ethereum, the ETH E. Uh, trust and GSOL, the Solana Trust, so those are going to be the first runners. Investors are going to notice those and they're going to see how well they did. And then they're going to pile into, if they're not already in, to LTCN, to BCHG, and they, they're going to go, what else is out there? What other trusts are out there? They're going to see the Ethereum Classic Trust, the MANA Trust, the File G Trust, all that stuff. Well, File G might have already done its thing. So it's like they, they probably won't get into that. But they'll look at HN, ZCSH, and Ethereum Classic and go, okay, well, these might be good investments to get into, like especially if they miss the boat. Because there are going to be people who miss the boat. There always are. So it's like if you miss the first boat or the first boats, like GSOL or ETE or LTC and a BCHE, well, there's still other trust to get into. 
and they're going to say, well, I missed the boat on LTCN. What else can I get into? That's, that's my thinking that people are going to, because all of these returns, like no matter, you know, LTCN and BCHG are going to outperform HSN and ZCSH. No doubt, no doubt they will. But if somebody missed the boat, on LTC on a BCHG, even if they didn't, they're still going to want to get into those trusts because, you know, it's like hell getting a five or 10 X or 15 X is a hell of a lot better than what you get by investing in dividend stocks or index funds or, or that kind of stuff. The standard boring stuff that most investors are into, like the, the crypto stuff, the, the trusts that are out there can just rocket you way past what, what your average returns are in other stocks and ETF. So it's going to be a really interesting time. I'm going to be super interested to look at the volume, total volume traded today at the end of the day, like what gets traded a BCHG, LTCN, and GSOL. I think BCHG is going to be the big winner because BCH has gone up significantly, you know, over the weekend. And it, and it's, it's a lot of in interest has been spurred by that. And I know that people are looking at my, my old uh, BCHG videos. I know they are because people started looking at my old Bitcoin Cash videos. As soon as Bitcoin Cash started to moon, I started to get comments on those videos that I did like months ago. And uh, I have no doubt that as, as the Grayscale Trust rocket, then it's like, you know, people are going to start looking around. They're going to find my videos and they're going to find videos by other people. And it's just going to continue to fuel the interest. So, I, I mean, I guess that's a gift <laughs> that's going to first. First of all, the videos that I put out are a gift to, to two classes of people. One, all of you early investors are going to benefit the most. Second of all, it's going to also benefit us when late stage investors get in because we need late stage investors. They have to prop up the market, right? They have to be the buyers. They have to buy when prices are high, when we're looking to sell. So it's going to benefit us. The more coverage that is out there, I'm thankful that uh, I got out there and started doing videos about these things. And I'm thankful that other people have been talking about the Grayscale Trust as well. So it's going to benefit all of us uh, so immensely, I think. And it's going to be absolutely bonkers. I mean, Bitcoin Cash, you know, is not at $500 yet. What's going to happen when it makes an, another move and it, it creeps towards $1,000? Or what happens during the rocket launch when it hits $2,000 or $4,000 or $5,000 and beyond? Like, what's going to happen? Like, the volumes are probably just going to skyrocket on the trust. So just expect that. And that's really good for all of us, really good for all of us, because, you know, we, we get to pick and choose our exits, our exit strategies, and we should have an easier time getting out. We want super high liquidity on all the trusts that we're in so that we have an easy time of exiting at our time, our place, our choosing, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I just want to make this quick video. Things are on fire, obviously largely driven by the fact that the underlying cryptos have moved up significantly, LTC and BCH specifically. And, you know, those are the two trusts that most people are invested in, but also Solana too. And uh, there's just a lot of hype around Solana. I think, you know, I've said this before, I think Solana is gonna be an, an early mover, I really do. I don't know exactly when. People think Solana can get up to $1,000 or slightly more. We're at like 100 plus dollars per Solana right now. Um, so I don't know when Solana will actually start its run or when Filecoin, I don't know, like if they're going to be flipped, like if Solana is going to come before Filecoin this cycle, I have no idea. I guess we're going to find out, but there definitely is a lot of interest in these funds for sure. And, uh, if you haven't joined discord, definitely do so. If you're into cryptocurrency or grayscale funds, click the link in the pinned comment below to get there. You're going to want to be a, a member of that discord it's free to join you're gonna to want to be there like for us moving into the bull run and and during the bull run especially with thoughts ideas selling strategies all that kind of stuff you're gonna to want to be there it's free to join no bullshit sign up stuff i don't have a fucking e-guide i'm gonna sell you you're not gonna get my goddamn phone number i'll kind of want the spam i don't want the extra shit no no free e-guides i'm not gonna tell you how to live off of uh, margin like some people do it's like oh you know buy my e-guide and, and i'll teach you how to learn or how to live off a of margin no i'm not gonna do that i don't have anything to sell you except uh uh, hopefully a better life, hopefully a better life with uh, some mad gains that we can all make in the Grayscale funds. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. If you're in these funds, definitely. I know it's a fun time. <laughs> it's a fun time. You're watching the gains. We're going to have our red days for sure. We're going to have our red days, but you got to enjoy the green days when we have significant increases in the fund prices. And it'll be interesting to watch what happens with the premiums too moving forward. Like I'll be, I'll, I'll be watching that kind of stuff. 
uh, cause it is interesting to me to, you know, cause the, the premiums are going to get put on folks. We're going to have increased premiums from here to the bull run. I just don't know how much or exactly when those things are going to come on, but it's going to happen for sure. For sure. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video until then you guys take care.